Watch Hump Day with him shine. Have some fun before we retire. Take a little break from the quagmire. It's Hump Day with him shine. We can't do Pride without music, obviously. So um, I'm going to bring out Jeffrey, uh, my Hump Heads. That those are my three fans, will know that uh, I like to bring Jeffrey out, who wrote the introduction song and performs it, the My Little Bit Mojis song. Um, I like to bring him out and give him a um, song challenge to do during the episode. Jeffrey. What's up, Emily? Hi. Where's your beard? Well, all, all the Jonathan Van Ness and Bobby Burke episodes, they inspired me to, to clean it up a little bit. So I know, true story, but oh. it's still me, it's still me. Okay, so you haven't been in quarantine these, so I am the only one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I take a little help from a professional, so yeah. Okay, which means you had, you were just you're touching people. Anyways, um, so, okay. I am going to have you sing a okay. song at the end of the show. Uh, I, I feel bad because normally I like to perform a song of my own to inspire you, but we have so many amazing guests to get to. That, like, we don't have time, Jeffrey. We don't have time. We have to get on this. So you know the drill, okay? You're going you're gonna to watch very carefully the 90-minute episode. And then okay. you're going to perform a song about everything that happens in this special 90 minute episode. All right. This is like normally, this is 30 minutes longer than our hour ish episodes that we, so it's like the movie. Hump Day. It's like, it's like hump day, the movie in 3d. Okay. Jeffrey, <laughs> okay. Jeffrey, I'm going to lightly wash my hands of you. Okay. Be gone, Jeffrey. Bye. Yeah. I'm obsessed with your theme song. I had not heard it before. Jeffrey, right? and I love your voice, Jeffrey. It's so amazing work. We hear him at the end of the show, but also like I could, that was maybe the highlight of my career, that, uh, that theme song. Okay, Jeffrey. Hi. Hi. It's time for you to perform your pride anthem. Okay. And I hope you're paying close attention because uh, it has to be an anthem. Yeah, it was a great show. Great show. A lot of guests. A lot, a lot of guests. Of My hands were so dry, like chaps, like John Travolta's butt. Oh, it it might have found its way in here. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Hey Emily, thanks for having me back Along with Laverne from Orange is the New Black Sarah Kate Ellis, president of GLAAD Spelled with two ways, that's why I sing it like that Brooklyn Heights is Canadian, y'all Probably the best drag name of them all So happy that Margaret Cho came on I got to put John Travolta's butthole in a song Butthole in a song but hold in a song. That was an effect. Lorenza is a is an acting queen. She even got five stars on Wiki Feed. Let's all hop on that site and help out Emily. Gonna abruptly delete your browser history. Up next was Miles, a YouTube mega star. Learn to guard your magic so you can show your heart. Speaking of magic. There was Vincent Rodriguez, an actor, a singer, whose magic is genius. Then came the OG, Carson Kressley, queer eye for the straight guy, trailblazing royalty. Had a lot of fun horsing around, but let me get just a little bit serious now. Be who you are, love who you love, pride month is something we should be proud. Reminder for all in this day and age, a little bit of love goes a long way. Yeah, be who you are, love who you love, pride month is something we should be proud. Please don't forget in this day and age, a little bit of love goes a long, long way. There you go. <laughs> I got real at the end. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> oh my god! I can't even like make jokes or anything. It's okay. Uh, Do your thing. I'm gonna wash my hands of the show now because it was a long one, but it was a good one. It was real long, but that was so 
amazing. You're so talented. I want to say jokes and be mean to you because that's what I've decided I do to you. But like, Jeffrey, that was so great. Thank you so much.